Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 36th episode of the series and we have Srimanto here with us who has been recently placed at Okta as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria given for this company. So all students belonging to computer science core, IT, uh, computer science with IT as a specialization, computer science with cloud computing as a specialization were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 8 or 80% in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Srimanto. So firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So, would you like to introduce you so yourself much. first? Yeah, sure. My name is Srimanto and I am a final year student here at uh, VIT Bellore. I belong to the IT branch and uh, I have a CGPA of 9.53. Okay, okay. That's great. Um, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Right. So, uh, Okta had come during uh, July during the slot one process and there were totally four rounds okay. uh, out of which initially there was a uh, like shortlisting and mm -hmm. uh, I think around 1200 or 1300 people were shortlisted okay. after that we had uh, an offline test mm -hmm. where we were given four coding questions uh, which we had to do in 70 minutes okay so uh, I think majority of the people who could do all four proceeded to the next round mm -hmm. uh, then there were two technical interviews and there was uh, one HR round okay. so yeah, this was the entire interview process Okay, so how did they go for you? Like what happened in each round? Yeah, sure. So uh, the interview process was uh, right on the next day. Hmm. Um, so initially in the first technical round, I was asked uh, a DSA question and uh, later on there were follow up questions and uh, the entire round was for around 45 minutes to one hour. Okay. And it revolved around that question itself. Okay. The second technical interview. Uh, it began with uh, the interviewer asking me about my resume, a bit about my internships okay. and then it proceeded more towards problem solving again mm -hmm. where I was given another question and I was asked to solve it. Okay. Uh, specifically in my case there were no computer fundamentals asked but mm -hmm. uh, from I heard from my friends that they did ask it uh, from a few people. Okay. So that was about the tech and mm -hmm. the HR round was more about uh, what I've done over the four years, mm -hmm. what are my interests, a bit about system design I would say but uh, nothing too technical. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So how long were the HR and the second round? Uh, uh, both were for around 40. I mean, the technical round was for around 45 minutes again, mm -hmm. uh, 45 to one hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, the HR round was short. It was for around 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Okay. And the coding yeah. questions that you were asked, right? They were, uh, what right. lev uh, level would you say like uh, lead code medium? So. Hard? Uh, right. So the thing is, as we had to do four questions, hmm. I felt that the first two questions were comparatively easy. Okay. Uh, they were really easy. Hmm. See? But the second and third, like the third and fourth question, one of them I can say it's medium and the fourth one I would say it's medium to hard. Okay. And uh, the major thing is everybody got different sets of questions. So I think there were like a pool of questions and everybody got uh, randomized uh, questions. Although I think the difficulty uh, that each uh, person faced was similar. Okay. So yeah. So this was for the online test, right? Yeah, this was the online test. Okay, so the online test had four coding questions and was there, was there anything else or? No, just four coding, coding questions and it was to be done in around 60 to 70 minutes. Okay, 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 that's great. And yeah. in the interview rounds, what would you say the level of the uh, coding questions were? Uh, I would say somewhat around medium to hard. So the thing is, if you have done DSA consistently, mm. I don't think you would face problem because uh, the major part of the interview is uh, coming up with the solution, like the intuition part, okay. not the solution. Okay. So the interviewer, they were quite friendly, they were helping me mm. and uh, they were patient for me to come up with the solution. Mm. So yeah, because um, I would say 90% of the chances that the questions that you solve uh, do not come in the interview. They might come, but again, most companies don't ask questions directly from lead code or anything. So okay. the intuition and the approach are more important hmm. than you you can say learning the questions or mugging them up. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah. Okay. Okay. That's great. Congratulations again. And thank you so much for sharing your experience. And yeah, thank you. So finally, how many people were selected? Finally, there were seven people selected from uh, VIT. Okay. That's great. Yep. That's great. And 
uh, do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share uh definitely so my first suggestion would definitely be around cgpa so because i had a very high cgpa it helped me get shortlisted quite easily and in most of the slot one companies right so i would say focus on your cgpa and any cgpa above 9 is good mm. because uh, above 9 you have lots of benefits so it will help you mm. uh, apart from that i would say beginning your dsa journey earlier will definitely help you mm. so i started dsa a bit late so i had to focus a lot on it and i had to grind a lot but mm. if you begin uh, your dsa journey by say second year it's going to help you a lot mm. maybe even third year so yeah but uh, the faster you begin it's going to help you in the long run so yeah okay that's great thank you so much for sharing yeah. your experience and for all the suggestions yeah I'm sure it's going yeah. to help. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my experience with all of you. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next.